Hey, what's up you guys? It's Annie back with another video helping you to turn your YouTube channel into a success. So if you aren't yet familiar with YouTube Shorts, they are basically YouTube's attempt at getting on the same level as TikTok, just like Reels on Instagram. The YouTube Shorts feature basically allows you to make a vertical video up to 15 seconds or up to 60 seconds if you upload them yourself to YouTube. If you go onto the mobile YouTube app, you'll see what is called the YouTube Shorts shelf, where you can basically see a bunch of short videos that are relevant to content and creators you typically tend to watch on YouTube. Now over the last few months, ever since YouTube shorts have really really become all the rage, I've been asked by so many people, please make videos about YouTube shorts and what do you think about shorts? Why don't you use the shorts feature? Because from what I've heard a lot of other YouTubers say, there are a lot of views to be gained through YouTube shorts and it's basically this like secret hidden gem to getting a whole slew of views on YouTube. So here are a few reasons why I myself do not watch YouTube Shorts, why I do not make YouTube Shorts, and some reasons why you guys may want to also not make Shorts on your channel. So one of the first reasons I just can't get into TikTok or Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts is that most people don't create them for the passion of it. It's the newest craze and so many people talk about how you can get so many views from YouTube Shorts and that's really the only main reason why people are making Shorts and why they wouldn't even think twice about making YouTube Shorts if it wasn't actually a YouTube feature. Meaning you are doing it because it's one more way of getting more views, not because you're passionate about it. Whereas YouTube videos where people are sharing their favorite at-home workouts or their favorite recipes or they're vlogging their family vacations, I can sit down and watch those videos entirely because I can see somebody's genuine passion and love for making that content when I watch their video. So for me, watching Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts, I just can't see somebody's passion in 60 seconds or less, it just seems really, really gimmicky to me and something that is really only made to get views. Now, one of the top reasons why I myself personally do not make shorts and why for some other people I suggest you don't either is that not all types of content on YouTube are suitable for shorts. When I think of reasons why I watch a YouTube video, I want to learn something, get advice on something, find out how to do something, or even be entertained by something. But just like on TikToks and Instagram Reels, because the video videos are no longer than 60 seconds, you only have 60 seconds to deliver whatever information or advice or entertainment you're here to create. I can't even tell you how many TikToks I've seen on Pinterest where the video is about something super, super interesting and it hooks me from the beginning, but then the video goes by so freaking quickly that I wish they'd gone into way more detail, gotten way more specific, talked about it for much longer, but they couldn't because they are limited by 15 seconds or 30 seconds or 60 seconds. Whereas in a YouTube video or a live stream or an IGTV, you have way more time on your hands to get specific, go into detail, and not have to rush through your content and make sure you are translating absolutely everything you have to give your viewers. I can't even imagine having to explain anything I've taught you guys in any one of my YouTube videos in 60 seconds or less because I like to really take my time to explain things and use examples and that's just something I really can't do in 60 seconds or less. So yes, some shorts and reels and TikToks are created for the entertainment aspect. If you wanna get a quick laugh or you wanna dance for 30 seconds, that is absolutely fine and hats off to people like Charlie D'Amelio who've literally built an empire off of TikTok. But as far as more like informational content or more like advice style videos, I just don't think that TikToks or reels or YouTube shorts are the best way to basically give people that information and not all content is suitable for YouTube shorts. Now here's one way that creating shorts on on your YouTube channel can actually further harm your channel's growth. And that is the fact that creating shorts on your channel is going to severely impact the future of your average view duration and your audience retention. TikTok has literally made people's attention spans next to nothing. Because everybody is so used to watching 15, 30, 60 second videos, it is nearly impossible to get people to sit through a two minute video, five minute video, or God forbid, a 15 minute video. So even with a YouTube short that is 45 seconds or 60 60 seconds, you would think to yourself, well, getting a 100% retention, getting them to watch the entire video should be a breeze because the video is less than a minute. But I've seen people sharing their YouTube shorts analytics on YouTube. And even with a YouTube short less than 60 seconds that you would figure, oh, they probably watched the whole thing because it's less than a minute. They can barely get people to watch 20 seconds, even 10 seconds of a 60 second YouTube short. And in case you are like me and can't do very much math without a calculator, that is a really, really 
low retention. And in case you guys are new here to my channel and haven't watched my videos before, your average view duration and your audience retention are two of the most important factors to getting your videos pushed out by YouTube, getting more views, subscribers, and growth. So if you start uploading a ton of YouTube shorts on your channel and get your viewers and audience members used to watching videos that short from you, good luck getting your viewers to stick around longer when you start uploading five, even 10 minute videos, which of course is going to affect the overall audience retention of your content, making it much, much harder to get your videos pushed out by YouTube and grow your channel faster. So that is one more thing to consider. Very similarly, you are also robbing yourself of watch time. One thing I know that not everybody is currently aware of is that all the watch time you get from your YouTube shorts does not count for monetization. So if you are a YouTuber who has not yet reached the requirements for monetization and you're trying to get your watch time up to get your hours up, you could get 15 seconds of watch time from your YouTube shorts that do not count towards monetization or you could get all that watch time on a regular video that does count for monetization. Now again, I know not everybody is a full-time YouTuber, not everybody's actually trying to get monetized, but if that is one of your goals and you're trying to use your YouTube shorts to get more watch time, that is one thing that will not count towards your monetization. Now one more thing I think that is super super important to think about and consider when it comes to shorts is that it gives people one more metric to obsess over and compare themselves to. As it is, newer creators spend so much time worrying about their subscriber count and their view count, comparing it to other YouTubers who are much much bigger on YouTube, getting more views and more subscribers, and then get frustrated when the same numbers are not appearing for them. Now with YouTube shorts being a thing on YouTube, we introduce just one more metric to obsess over and compare yourself to. Just like the For You page on TikTok and the Explore page on Instagram, the YouTube shorts shelf is one more thing that creators are now striving for and obsessing over rather than striving to create content they enjoy making and want to share with their audience. And that obsession doesn't ever go away because let's say they actually do end up on the YouTube shorts shelf. Do you actually think that's going to satisfy them? It's like taking a bite out of a chocolate cake. Once you've gotten a taste for it, you're entranced and you can't stop until you are overstuffed and exhausted. So rather than making content you are genuinely passionate about that you enjoy making and that you really, really wanna share with your audience, people are getting lost in the idea of getting millions and millions of views on your shorts and hitting the shorts shelf having your shorts go viral on YouTube, and it's just one more thing to obsess over and one more vanity metric to obsess over. I can't even tell you how many DMs I get on Instagram every single day from people who are so, so frustrated that they can't hit the shorts shelf. They're seeing other people's shorts absolutely take off on YouTube and theirs isn't. Proving that this is just one more obsession that smaller creators wouldn't have without the shorts feature. So that, you guys, is pretty much it for all the reasons why I'm not into shorts, why I don't make Make shorts, why I don't encourage shorts. Of course, I do want to specify and disclaim here that this is only one person's opinion. Most of what I'm saying in this video is not fact and does not make a fact just because I'm talking about it, but I've gotten so many questions about why don't you make shorts, why don't you talk about shorts, and this video is basically one big answer of multiple different reasons why I don't. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it insightful, maybe even helpful in some way. If you guys are still watching at this point, then thank you for watching all the way to the end. Love you all to the moon and back, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!